Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. Wait, spirit says, you're, listen, didn't I just talk about your spirit guides? Your spirit guides are working very hard to lead you on the right path. Spirit is advising you to pay attention. Okay, so you are being guided by your spirit guides, by your team. They are watching you. They are guiding you. So make sure you're paying attention to whatever signs, whatever synchronicities that you're getting. I feel like miracles are getting ready to flow in for you guys. Okay, so expect some something unexpected. All right. Expect something unexpected. And even if you didn't plan on it, you're going to know that this is something very special and divine. OK, so it's like if you pl if expect the unplanned. Right. If you know you didn't plan something, but something happened and it feels right to you, do it. Act on it. OK, trust your intuition and trust that it's your spirit guides. Or maybe even it's something as simple as like just literally asking your spirit guides, is this the right thing to do? Or just, you know, trusting your discernment and using your intuition. Bottom of the deck literally says miracles really do happen. Expect sudden growth and positive movement in all areas of your life. These miracles will bring you much joy and happiness. So you're going to be getting some really, really good news this week, you guys. I really, really love this message for you. Beautiful message. Nice way to start off, right? Happy Saturday, or if you're seeing this over the weekend... This is for the week ahead, you guys. So let's see. What else? What other messages do we have for the collective? All right. Look, show me the energy here for the week ahead. All right. Third chakra, confidence. This is solar plexus chakra. So there's something here about confidence. There's something here about happiness. There's something here, you taking action. Show me the energy here for the week ahead for the collective. Like, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen, didn't, we, didn't Spirit say, uh, I also said this too, so I, you know, you can give me the credit and hit the like button. Um, but seriously, no, seventh chakra, this is about your intuition, your crown chakra, trusting and paying attention to the, to the guys that, to the signs that your spirit guys are sending you. They could be sending you dreams, downloads, what it, it could be something that you see that you feel led to go towards. Pay attention to that. Spirit wants you to act on that, okay? Like, and have the confidence and trust your intuition. Trust the signs that you're seeing. You're not crazy, you guys, okay? And you know what's so funny is we just talked about miracles and things coming into your life, okay? And we've literally got cornucopia and door to romance. I love this energy for you guys for the week ahead. You got Look at this. These are also cards of synchronicities. So first off, I have 30, the number 37 could be significant for you. The number 33 could be significant for you or the number 11. So some of you guys might be seeing 1111. You could be seeing 333 because I've got the triple threes here. So go take a look at that angel number and see if there's another um, message in that for you. This is great. You got new love coming in. Okay. Open up to it. Be open to receiving because this heart is in a cage kind of like in the background, you know, it's in a closet. It's literally in a closet. Okay. So it might also be time for you to get out and do something fun. If coworkers invite you somewhere or a friend or a family member invites you somewhere to some form of a social event collective, I will go do it. You know, get out of your comfort zone here. This could be something totally different also here too. This could be a different person or a different a relationship of some sort you that you haven't had before. Uh, it's going to be great, okay? This could also be like a connection where um, you you all have been single and you're like, no, 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 you swore off dating. And then you're like, you know what? You meet this person and you're like, oh my goodness. So Spirit is saying be open to receiving all these really, really great, awesome things coming into your life. The cornucopia is all about abundance. It's all about happiness. It's all about creativity. It's all about like things blossoming for you. This is literally like cornucopia is like ace of cups and ace of pentacles all in one. Like th there is a feast of fruit. I mean, abundance in this forest. There's like this magical fairy here. You've got these sun rays shining down. You know what I mean? Like a cornucopia of abundance is like available to you. You just have to be willing to step out i love this energy this is very great reading for you already 
you know, maybe do this week, do some, uh, go on YouTube and Google or just Google whatever, or, you know, search third chakra, solar chakra, solar plexus, <clears throat> meditations, you know, so that'll be helping you, you know, to open up and be a little bit more confident and to act. Because there's definitely something here happening for you that you're going to have to act on. Show me what else here for the coach. Okay, a favorable outcome. You guys, I cannot make this up. A favorable outcome to something here is happening for you. Literally, this says a favorable outcome. It says, thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith trust trust your intuition trust that your spirit guides are leading you right in the right down the path and direction that you should go okay but you've got to literally oh my god look at what's on the bottom of the deck but before i move on i want to lose my train of thought here the message here was that literally like you're on you just got to trust that you're on the right path and surrender your will to the divine's will Anywho, so we have eternal love. It says, help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving and expressing and giving love. Like literally, this is in total alignment with, with, with this message that I literally just showed you guys, right? I just talked about how this heart is in this cage and it's in this closet. It's like so protected, right? It's like, I don't know if you guys have done everything you can to protect yourselves and took a break from love because, you know, you haven't had the best experiences in love, right? And also, too, I feel like there's energy of, like I said, be open to receiving. Spirit is literally saying, you are safe. What's coming towards you is divinely guided. You're safe. There's internal love coming towards you. Let's pull a divine abundance. This is a really beautiful... Now, some of this energy can obviously extend past the week ahead. But man, you've got a beautiful week ahead if it is this like this week. <laughs> okay. I love this. What do we have for the collective? What do we have? Okay. Oh, listen. Ease. I love ease. You know, I don't like anything, you guys, that feels that feels like it, there's a struggle to it. That means it's not for you. Okay. Now I'm not saying things don't take hard work because they do, and they don't take dedication because they do, but something that's for you should come to you easily. It, nothing should feel forced. And it says, it's easy for me to receive. I can't make this up. <laughs> it's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. That is your message. Get ready to receive. There's a favorable outcome here. There's abundance, cornucopia energy, ace of cups energy, ace of pentacles energy, new love, okay? Confidence, action is going to be needed. Trust your intuition. Trust that your spirit guides are working very hard to give you this and bring this. Pay attention to all the synchronicities and signs that you are seeing. Wow. Just I'm drawn back to this. This says, again, Help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. You're going to be safe with this new person, okay? You're going to be safe with this new opportunity. It's easy for you to receive. Wow. I'm telling you guys, this is like beautiful. Let's pull a spirit, a spirit animal card for you. It's been a while since I've used this deck. I really love this deck. So many good messages, especially if you like, you love animals and you feel like you connect to animals. What is the spirit animal for the collect? Is the sweet, please? Spirit animal for the Thank you. We've got two. So maybe you will um, resonate with one or two of these. We've got the humpback whale, singer. Wow. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Humpback whale. All right. I am going to read, because I usually don't do that for this book, but I feel led to do that today. So let's see what the humpback whale will has to say oh wow where are you humpback wheel weird see the hummingbird 
the horse. <clears throat> Weird. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Humpback wheel. All right. Sorry about that. All right. You could be a teacher also, too. I'm just going to read these. It says peaceful, gentle, giant, lover, singer. Okay. Teacher, record keeper, power of breath, protection, strength, and traveler telepathy and tireless. Okay. It says humpbacks are the record keepers of the world. Well, people can connect to this ancient uh, knowledge, but often do not understand where their knowing comes from. Humpback whales are the peaceful bards of the sea. The males sing long, complex ballads to court the female. They often sing in unison. Their, song, their soulful songs are frequencies that release tension and heal the ocean with love. Humpback is a great totem for the musician and composer. Singing is a powerful act that links us to our eternal soul. Music unlocks hidden joy, inner knowing, and healing. Humpbacks travel long distances using sonar to find their way. Sonar can travel hundreds of miles and is likely a question, is like asking a question and then waiting patiently for the answer to come back to you. Humpback mothers carefully tend to their newborns. They gently push them to the surface to breathe and teach them the way to live. If humpback is your totem, you have strong protective forces around you. Your telepathy and knowing are strong. Remember, right? Spirit says you have protection. Your spirit guides are working hard. Trust your intuition. Pay attention, right? Crown chakra, third chakra, right? This is so beautiful. Uh, call upon the humpback to teach you to unlock your many gifts and help you remember your history and your place in the world, okay? So are you asking questions and listening to the answers, okay? Do you need to put the world... Um, do you need to put the world right once more? Okay, pause, breathe deeply, and return to the answer. Whoa. All right, now we have the raven. So maybe you could resonate more with one of these, or maybe you resonate with both. That's totally okay. We have shaman. Wow, so shaman work. Also, too, you may need to do some, like, you know, singing and dancing. If you don't already do this now, music therapy is coming through here. Uh, energy and uh, also to like you know you can go to YouTube and just type in like whale sounds and just meditate to it or listen to it in the mornings or before you go to bed it says the raven shaman you are the creator and the magician you use your gifts for good you guys have gifts and that could be what's bringing in this cornucopia for you but maybe it was like you were lacking confidence it says there is power in your wisdom and words connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the through the void Claim your place as the keeper of mysteries. Wow. This is giving like kind of like Akashic records. You, you may have some gifts having something to do with Akashic records. So you might want to look into that, you guys. Okay. Or ask your spirit guys about that. All right. We have mystery, magician, friend, shaman, omens, cosmic forces, creator, shape shifter, synchronicity. And we, we've seen those synchronicities here, too. And those could be the, the, the you know, the red flag, not the red flags, but the, the signs, right, that, that your spirit guides are wanting you to pay attention to. This says courage, right? We talked about that, that third chakra, that solar uh, plexus. Higher consciousness, playfulness, and good luck. Good luck is all, all over this reading, right? We saw miracles. We, have, we saw a cornucopia. We saw a favorable outcome. We, we talked about being open to receiving, right? We talked about something fair and, and favorable and it's easy for you to receive. Like this is in such alignment. I love when this happens. It says, if you have been a lover of ravens, collect their feathers, embrace their images, read their myths, observe them in nature and love black, then raven is your totem. It is said when magic is near, ravens appear. Ravens are messengers from another world. They bring us secret knowledge about magic and divination. Ravens are the winged spirit advisors from your own powerful subconscious. Ravens help ravens, wait, raven people conspire with the energies of the universe to help them to create their dreams. They experience continual learning and enlightenment. Raven people do not fear the darkness, okay? Raven people do not fear the darkness. The vast unknown is their storehouse of cosmic force, of cosmic forces. Others can be drawn to raven people, but also might fear 
be fearful of what they know. So you could be stupid intuitive and, and like you might not even know how intuitive you are, okay? Maybe your crown chakra is blocked and there needs to be a little bit of work done there as well. It says, if Raven is your totem, you are creative and love playful interaction. You cultivate the natural philosopher within yourself. You have the access. You have access to the subconscious mind and this incredible knowledge is yours to retrieve. Yeah, it's get, totally giving Akashic record here. If Raven is your totem, learn to meditate and reach deep within yourself to, to your own reservoir of wisdom. Go into the dark and bring back the light. Raven can fly you there and introduce you to rich, riches of wisdom beyond your wildest imagination. Have you forgotten how magical you are? Have you let your energy bring you to the dark side? Have you been responsible with your magic? Do not let negative thinking undo your reality. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> All right. To close the reading out, you guys, I'm going to pull a lover's oracle for you just to see what else we have for you when it comes to love. So let's just see here, spirit guys. <laughs> what does the collective need to know here in love? What else in love? All right. We have power. Yeah. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Let's get you one more. Power. Trusting your power. And that's what Spirit just talked about, right, with that Raven card, too. So this is definitely in alignment and in sync. Like, you guys probably have been seeing synchronicities like crazy. Um, and you're like, am I just, you know, making that up? Or, like, or people might think you're making that up. Or it's, like, really unbelievable to you. It says, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So something about the power of maybe saying no, the power of focusing on yourself here is, is, is really what's happening here. I feel like that's the energy that you guys are in, but you kind of little, like a few of you have been closed off to love here, but, but either way, this is a beautiful message. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you.